It would be so great if you could make it to my son's birthday party tomorrow. Sure, thanks for inviting us. What day is his actual birthday? It's not before next Thursday. So you celebrate early? America's got Germans and we are for them. My name is Anni and my husband, my two kids and I, we moved from Cologne, Germany to Boston, Massachusetts in July 2021. And that means that we have arrived three months ago, but my son has already been invited to five birthday parties. I know it sounds like he's a very popular kid, which he most likely is, but that's not the only reason why he has been invited that often. Anyways, I have already noticed a lot of differences between American and German birthday parties, so I thought it would be fun to share the most surprising ones with you in my today's video. It already starts with the fact that we always have to make sure to arrive at the birthday party at the correct day. Because of course, when we receive an invitation, it is written the American way and that is different from what we are used to. So basically Americans when they write a date they start with a month and then followed by the day and then the year. While in Germany we do it the other way around so we start with the day followed by the month and then the year. So for instance my husband's birthday is August the 7th 1983. That is how Americans would write that date. And that is how a German would write that date. So it's actually, you know, mixed up. And another difference is that we use periods in between the day, the month and the year, while Americans use hyphens or slashes between the day, the month and the year. So yeah, we always have to pay attention to that. Number two is who you should invite to your kids' birthday parties. And as I said, we have already been invited to five birthday parties. And to be honest, I was a bit touched when we received the first invitation because Lenny was just new to his new school. And I thought it's so kind that they invite the new kid. But then we received the second um, invitation just shortly after. And that's when I realized that they actually invite the whole class um, and I think I like it because then no kid feels left out but of course on the other hand you have to throw a party for a lot of kids and a lot of parents. Um, yeah we also have been to one party where just close friends have been invited and I also like that one because it was more personal and the kid got to decide who he wants to invite and who he really wants to spend his special day with. Um, and that is actually how Germans would decide who to invite. They would ask the kid who he really wants to have for a special day and then you would actually try to limit the numbers because they always say a lot of kids and you would try to limit the numbers to a number that you can handle and when I say you I mean the parents of the bo birthday boy or girl because it's nothing unusual that you have birthday parties without the parents of the guests being present. Um, so my son is just four years old but he has already been to parties where I dropped him off and I uh, was asked to pick him up two hours later. Um, and I think that would be a no-go here, especially at that age. Um, so I, I was wondering what actually the age is when you drop off your kid at a party. So if you know more, just share your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, I just would like to mention that I don't prefer drop-off parties as I always enjoyed Joining my son to the birthday parties we have been to, I got to talk to other parents and it was always a lot of fun. In 
Germany it would be a no-go to wish someone a happy birthday early and early is everything before 12 a.m. at the actual day of birth. Um, there's even a superstition that says if you wish someone a happy birthday early it will actually bring bad luck to the birthday boy or birthday girl. But here it's just so normal that people wish you a happy birthday early. So if you tell someone that your birthday is coming up, for instance, you would say, my birthday is next week, then that person will say, oh, happy birthday. And it's not just that they say or wish you a happy birthday early, they also celebrate sometimes early. So my son has been to a birthday party and the kid's birthday was not before the next day. In Germany, I think this would also be a no-go. You would rather celebrate the weekend after or even weeks after, but never ever before or early. Um, so you should never say happy birthday to a German early, but it is okay to wish someone a happy birthday late. And in that case, you would say happy belated birthday. And also Americans do that. But I feel that Germans are more precise about it. So I was thinking about it and I think I remember that people would come to my birthday party and even before saying happy birthday, they would ask, oh, is it your birthday today? Just to make sure that they say it correctly. So either happy birthday or happy belated birthday. The birthday cake very important in the US and in Germany, but a German birthday cake is very different to an American birthday cake. In Germany, basically any kind of cake, a fruit cake, a pond cake, a tart, any kind of cake can be a birthday cake. You would choose the one the birthday boy or girl likes the most, but here a birthday cake is a very specific type of cake. It usually comes with frosting and a lot of sprinkles and it is super, super sweet. I love sweet things, but to be honest, I still have to get used to the American birthday cake. Another difference I notice is that Germans make the cake while Americans buy it. Not all of them, but it's nothing unusual that you buy a birthday cake. And I feel that Germans would rather prefer to make the cake um, because it shows that you cave, care for the birthday boy or girl because you took the time to make it. So this is a birthday cake I baked for the second birthday of my son. I know it's not perfect, but I definitely baked it with love. Um, I also noticed that um, at the birthday parties we went to, the birthday cake is usually served as a dessert, while in Germany it is the first thing kids get to eat when they <laughs> arrive at the birthday party. And then afterwards you would have lunch or snacks or dinner. I mean, also depending on the time um, of the day you celebrate. But here it's the other way around. So you would get the cake. It would, yeah, it would usually be the last thing the kids eat um, at a birthday party. I also would like to mention a very fun thing. I have never seen that in Germany. It's called cake smash or smashing a cake. And apparently it is a thing for one year old. So when they turn one, they get a small cake and um, they can do whatever they want with that cake. Um, it's very funny, very messy. And a lot of times parents would also get a professional photographer to capture the fun moments. So far, all the birthday parties we have been to had a theme. So we have been to a Paw Patrol party, to a pirate party, to a construction party. And sometimes they also ask you to come dressed up if you like to. In Germany, sometimes people um, throw theme parties for their kids, but then it's, you know, just the invitation is theme based and you maybe have matching napkins, plates, cups and balloons. 
but basically that's it. But if they throw a theme party here, it is a you know different world and they put so much love and effort into decoration and to make it um, all look perfect. So just to show you what I mean, that's the invitation we got for the construction party we have been to. And here you can see the food. Not sure if you can see it, but we had burger that day and the mom even put the ketchup in a little can and she had a brush. Um, so it look, looks like the ketchup was paint. You know, just the little things. So she really thought it all the way through. She had a bulldozer made out of um, cardboards and a crane. It was just, you know, perfect. And my son, he loved it. And I'm just hoping his birthday is not before next July. I'm just hoping he will forget about it because otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble next year. Another difference I noticed is the way Americans handle presents. So in Germany, um, oftentimes the birthday boy or girl, oh, by the way, that's another difference. In Germany, we say birthday child, so Geburtstagskind, but in the US you say birthday girl or boy. Anyways, so oftentimes um, in Germany, the birthday boy or girl opens the presents when the guests are still around. They would, you know, sit in a circle and then um, he gets to open all the presents and he would thank the person who brought the present in person. While here there's usually a box where you put the present in and then they open the present after presents after the party um, and send a thank you card afterwards. Till now I haven't decided which way I like better because the German way um, the birthday boy or girl gets the chance to say thank you in person. But on the other hand, I mean my son is four years old and even though he's well behaved, it might be that he opens a present and you know would say something like, oh I don't like that one. And yeah, in order to prevent that, the American way is maybe the better option. Um, so yeah, but I haven't decided yet. Why don't you share what you are thinking? Do you think the American way is better or the German way? Yeah, maybe you can help me to decide. It might be a bit surprising, but Germans also sing happy birthday, the English happy birthday. Um, Okay, to be fair, Germans usually sing happy birthday instead of happy birthday as the TH is a bit difficult for Germans to pronounce correctly. Um, me included, I'm not sure if you have already noticed, I'm still working on it. Anyway, so happy birthday is actually the most common um, birthday song, everyone knows it. Um, yeah, there's also a German version which is Zum Geburtstag viel Glück, to your birthday, much luck. But you don't really hear that a lot. And yeah, for kids there's another song which is called Wie schön, dass du geboren bist. Translated, that would be how nice that you were born. And if you would like to hear how that sounds like, just wait till the end because I ask my son to sing it for you. What do American kids play at a birthday party? So far, all the birthday parties we have been to had a piñata. And I haven't seen it at a German birthday party. Um, I knew it before, but it's just nothing common in Germany. So what is a piñata? Basically, it is a container and it is um, made out of, I think, paper mache is the word. It's filled with candy and some toys and then the kids they take turns um, to hit it with a stick and at one point it will break and then all the candies and um, the toys uh, fall down and then the kids rush and try to to get as many candies as they can. There also ex exists a pull string version um, so there are strings attached to the container and every kid gets to hold a string 
um, and then they pull it and the strings are attached to a, um, a little door, the door opens and then the candy and the toys fall down. I think it's a great uh, option for smaller or younger kids or if you don't want um, your kids to hit anything. Anyways, uh, as I said, I haven't seen that in Germany. Um, one thing German kids play a lot is Topfschlagen, um, hitting a pot. So you would have a pot and underneath the pot there is some candy or also a small toy um, and you would hide the pot somewhere in the room and then the kid is blindfolded and he gets a wooden spoon and he has to try to find the pot with the wooden spoon. And all the other kids help that kid to find it by saying warm if he gets closer to the pot or hot if he's very close or cold when he's far away. One game also Germans play a lot is Reise nach Jerusalem, but I think I haven't seen it yet, but I think it also exists um, here and it's called Musical Chair. So yeah, with that being said, that was the number eight of the most surprising differences um, regarding birthday parties in the US. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and I hope I see you soon. Leave me a thumbs up, a comment, whatever you would like. Um, thanks again and auf Wiedersehen. Wie schön, dass du geboren bist. Wir hätten dich sonst sehr vermisst. Wie schön, dass wir beisammen sind. Wir gratulieren dir, Geburtstagskind. Oh, 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 oh,